This is the Altus 1107. It has C sharp trill, offset G, uh, no roller, no split E, no roller mechanism, none of that. It is a 958 silver head joint and body, silver plated keys, uh, C sharp trill open hole, offset G, and B foot. And the head joint that is on it is the Altus V cut. <laughs> This is the Altus 1407. It has sterling silver throughout. Soldered tone hole, C sharp trill, split E, D sharp roller, open hole, offset, G and B foot. No D sharp roller. <laughs> I have the Altus 1407 with the S Kotel, K-O-T-E-L, boxwood head joint with a granadilla lip plate. Um, you can see Kotel right there. Interesting, the, this head joint does not fit on the 1607, nor does it fit on the 1707, but 1407 it does. <laughs> This is the Altus 1607, and I'm using the classic seamed head joint. Uh, it is 958 Britannia silver body, but 925 sterling silver keys. Has solid soldered tone holes, C sharp trill, split E, D sharp roller, and B foot. <laughs> All right, so I have the Altus 1607 with the David Chu Grenadilla head joint. Interesting to note, the Grenadilla, this head joint weighs in at 92 grams, which is almost the same as every other uh, silver head joint that was shipped with the Altus lot. So it weighs the same. So that's kind of nice. Um, if you're getting a lighter weight flute, but you want a different sound, it's definitely different, but it does weigh the same so you don't get that awkward feeling like this. So it's evenly weighted. But if you're looking for something lighter weight, this isn't it. This is the Altus 1707 flute. It's 997 silver throughout, soldered tone holes, C sharp trill, split E, D sharp roller, open hole offset G, B foot. Besides, quick note, besides weight, 
um, which the extra keys add, the C sharp and the split E. What I'm noticing is that if you haven't had a split E before, and depending on your right hand position, the split E makes a big difference because you have this extra bar back here. I find myself hitting it a lot with my with my hand, which tactilely, that sensation of suddenly I'm touching something and I feel like I shouldn't be, it throws me off. So if you're not used to having a split E and you add that, um, that's something to be aware of besides uh, the potential for extra weight. So here's the Zagorda Bison. <laughs> So this is a Brandon Cooper model number 795. It has a solid silver head joint and a solid silver body and keys. Um, this flute is a used model, so the price is a little bit lower than usual. It has an inline mechanism, a C-sharp trill key, and a B-foot. And this flute feels very light, so I'm very excited to try it. <laughs> So this is another combination of a head joint and a body and foot joint from two different flute brands. So you still have the solid silver body and keys of the Brandon Cooper 795 model. So now we've added a solid silver Maka head joint with a Grenadilla woodwind plate. And comparatively, um, this feels a little bit lighter in general than the combination with the solid Grenadilla wood head joint. <laughs> So this is a combination of two different flute brands. Again, we have the Brandon Cooper model 795 solid silver body and keys, but this time we also have a Grenadilla wood manga head joint. So this feels a little bit heavier than this, just a solid silver Brandon 795, um, but it will be interesting to compare once we get the weights. <laughs> This is a 10 karat gold Brandon Brothers handmade flute with a sterling silver mechanism, including an inline G, a C sharp trill key, and a B sharp roller and a B foot joint. This head joint is a 19.5 karat rose gold hand cut head joint by Brandon Brothers with a 14 karat rose gold lift plate, riser, and crown. <laughs> So now we still have the 10 karat gold Brandon Brothers handmade flute with sterling silver mechanism, a C sharp trill key, inline G, B sharp roller, and a B foot joint. But now we have added a 10 karat gold left bend head joint with a 14 karat gold riser, wings, and lip plate. <laughs>
is a Lillian Burkhart Elite model again. It's the 5 slash 95. It's a platinum silver alloy. So it's 5% platinum, 95% silver. Hand cut head joint, silver lip plate and riser. Uh, again, it's 5 slash 95 platinum slash silver alloy body. So it's the platinum enhanced is what they call it. Sterling silver mechanism. It's got the micro link pinless mechanism, soldered silver tone holes, silver rings, ribs, and post. Uh, it does have, it's the 0. Point, I'm sorry, 0. 0.016 tubing. B foot gizmo, C sharp trill, split E, D sharp roller, offset G. So this is the platinum enhanced flute, 595. 5% platinum, that's a split E, C sharp trill, D sharp roller. Silver soldered tone holes. <laughs> So I have the Lillian Burkhart Elite Model, 9 karat gold over sterling silver. Uh, it's a hand cut head joint with 9 karat gold lip plate silver riser. Uh, it's, it's the same 9 karat gold over uh, sterling silver body and mechanism. Uh, it's got micro link pinless mechanism, soldered silver tone holes. So as you can see, we've got gold over silver, but the tone holes are silver, not gold. It does not have a split E. It's 0 0.016 tubing, A442, B foot, offset G, C sharp trill, D sharp roller. So you can see that. D sharp roller, C sharp trill, no E. You can see the soldered tone holes that are silver. <laughs> So I have another gold flute. This is from Lillian Burkhart. This is the 10 karat elite model. So it's 10 karat gold with hand cut head joint, 14 karat lip plate and riser. It's got a 10 karat gold body with sterling silver mechanism. Uh, it's got the Burkhart micro length pinless mechanism, soldered silver tone holes, silver rings, ribs, and posts. It does have the 0 0.14, so the thin wall tubing. It's got a B foot with gizmo, offset G, C sharp trill, split E mechanism. And again on the head joint, it's the 10 karat gold, 10 karat gold tube, 14 karat gold lip plate and riser with a silver crown and is also the thinner wall 0.14. So you can see the tone holes are silver, right? 10 karat gold and the mechanism. So we do have the split E, C sharp trill, no roller. Okay. So this is another Haynes custom flute model. This particular model is solid silver with a solid silver head joint, body, and mechanism. This mechanism has an offset G and a C-sharp trill key, and this particular model has an 18 karat white gold riser in the head joint. So this one, just based on feel, feels a little bit heavier than the other two models I've tried so far today, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it for you guys so you can compare sound quality. So this is a Haynes custom flute model with 5% gold alloy tubing throughout the head joint and the body and the foot joint. Uh, this particular model has a head joint with a 14 karat gold riser. 
and it has sterling silver, silver mechanism with an offset G and a C-sharp trill key. So this is a 10 karat rose gold Hanes custom flute model with a 14 karat rose gold lip plate and riser and the body has a sterling silver lightweight mechanism with an offset G and a C sharp trill key. This flute feels pretty light in comparison to the other ones that I've tried from Hanes and I'm going to try a little bit of the Sankan Sanatine to demonstrate for you guys. This is the Miyazawa 202 heavy wall flute with the heavy wall 958 head joint with 14 karat gold riser MX2. I have the 10 and the 1. Um, weight wise, they don't make any difference. It just has to do on personal, personal preference of sound. I'm used to a 7, so none of these are exactly what I'm used to, but um, I like the 2 and the 10 best when it comes to comparability if you came from a 7. Um, so this is pure heavy wall compared to the Granadilla heads. Um, this will be a different sound. Weight-wise, the it, it does feel like an overall lighter instrument than the 402 and the 602, but that's based on feel, not necessarily uh, purely on weight, which I haven't weighed these yet. I will say the end of this, the crowns do feel heavier on the heavy wall head joints. Also, the, let's see, there is not the ergonomically designed B-flat key, which I do find makes a difference. So this is the Miyazawa 402 heavy wall broker mechanism. It has a C sharp trill key and a D sharp roller, as you can see. It also does not have the different uh, offset B flat thumb key. I am using currently the Monk uh, silver head joint with Grenadilla lip plate and that offsets the weight considerably. It's definitely different when compared back to back. So this is the same Miyazawa 202 heavy wall flute, but with the Monk Grenadilla, solid Grenadilla head joint. So as you can see, there's no wave to it or anything, it's just solid. <laughs> So this is the Miyazawa 402 heavy wall, broker mechanism, C-sharp trill, D-sharp roller, without the ergonomically designed B-flat, by the way. 
Uh, let's see. This also has the MX2 head joint with 14 karat gold riser. Uh, both are heavy wall, and we're going to see how this sounds. Here we go. Okay, so this is the Miyazawa 402 heavy wall, broker mechanism, C sharp trill, D sharp roller, same as before, but the difference is we have a monk head joint with a grenadillo lip plate. It definitely takes some of the weight down on the instrument, um, but it also changes the sound. So here's the difference in the sound. See what you think. So this is the Miyazawa 402 Heavy Wall Broker Mechanism with C-sharp Trill and D-sharp Roller with the Mach Grenad Solid Grenadilla Head Joint and Lip Plate. There is no wave, it is straight as you can see. So this is the Miyazawa 602, Broger mechanism, heavy wall, C-sharp trill, D-sharp roller, as you can see, offset G, also with the ergonomically designed B-flat. This is what I'm used to playing, so this is basically my control, even though the head joint is not what I'm used to. So this is the MX2 heavy wall, 14 karat riser. I just weighed everything. This and the 402 weigh in at the same thing. They're at 14 ounces and 14 and 3 eighths ounces. The 202 weighed in at 13 and a half. So about an ounce difference without the head joint. The head joint uh, is, is another matter. So that's just the flute weight. Um, feeling wise, it feels more solid in my hands. I know that's subjective. Weight wise, it does feel a little heavier because of the weight of the keys. We have the keys, that I, I believe, are. Oh, it's I imagine I'm gonna probably not. But doesn't matter, the, the weight is actually the same as the 402. But <laughs> So this is the Broger Mechanism Miyazawa 602 with the Monk head joint, the silver with grenadilla lip. So this is the Miyazawa 602, uh, heavy wall, broker mechanism, C-sharp trill, D-sharp roller with the B-flat ergonomic design, and the Monk head joint that is Grenadilla, uh, solid all the way through, no wave, straight up. <laughs> So this is the Muramatsu 
Komatsu EX model. It has a solid silver head joint and silver clad body and keys. It has an offset G mechanism and no C-sharp trill key and a B foot. And this one feels super lightweight. This is a Muramatsu DS standard wall model. It has a solid silver head joint and a solid silver body and keys. Uh, it also has an offset G mechanism, still no C sharp trill key, and a B foot. And this one does feel a little bit heavier than the EX. So this is a Muramatsu DS heavy wall model. Uh, it still has a solid silver head joint and solid silver body and keys. But the difference between a heavy wall model and a standard wall model is that the tubing is a little bit thicker, adding a little bit of extra weight. This still has an offset G mechanism, no C sharp trill key, and a B foot. And the weight difference between the standard wall and the heavy wall doesn't feel drastic, but it will be interesting to compare once we actually measure the weights. This is a Muramatsu 9K standard wall model. It has a 9 karat gold head joint, 9 karat gold body, and silver keys. This model has an engraved lip plate. It has an offset G mechanism, a C sharp trill key, and a B foot. And to me, this model feels a little bit lighter than the DS heavy wall, but again, it will be interesting to compare once we actually measure the weights. <laughs> So this is the Muramatsu 9K heavy wall model. It still has a 9 karat gold head joint and body and silver keys, uh, but the difference again is that the heavy wall model has thicker tubing, uh, adding a little bit of extra weight. So this model also has an engraved lip plate, an offset G mechanism, C sharp trill key, and a B foot. And the difference in weight between the 9K standard and heavy does not feel drastic. So this is a platinum clad Muramatsu. This model has a platinum clad sterling silver hand cut head joint, body, and keys. It has an engraved lip plate, engraved keys, a C sharp trill key, a D sharp roller, a split E mechanism, and a B foot joint. <laughs> This is the Nagahara handmade flute in 950 silver, standard model, 950 silver body, 
sterling silver mechanism. It's got the Nagahara pinless mechanism, soldered silver tone holes, silver rings, ribs, posts. Triad V5 pads. It's a heavy wall, so 0 0.018 tubing. Offset G, split E, C sharp trill, B foot. And the head joint that is on here is silver tubing, it's the 950, again, silver tubing, sterling silver lip plate, 14 karat gold traditional riser, and 0 0.016 tubing. So the body is 1.8, so it's heavy wall, and the head joint is 1.6, so it's traditional. This is the DS cut. <laughs> We have this lovely thing made in 1975. Is inline G, no anything, no she, no roller, no C sharp, no split E, no donut, nothing. It's very lightweight, but the cool thing is that this one also comes with a C foot. So I'm going to play a very abbreviated section of both of these so you can hear what it sounds like with both foot joints. Um, this is going to be, it's all solid silver, but I think the, the tubing is 0 0.016, so it's on the thinner side. Also, I don't have plugs, so uh, apologies for the flubs when I miss the inline G. Here's some of the Zugorna Bison. <laughs> This is the Powell serial number 15990. Uh, it's a custom flute in sterling silver with a silver hand cut head joint, sterling silver body, pinless mechanism, soldered tone holes, silver rings, uh, pointed key arms, all that stuff. It's heavy wall tubing, um, but the tubing has a 16.016 uh, head joint receiver. It's got offset G, split E, and C sharp trill B foot. So this is a heavier one with a lighter weight head joint. Hey everyone, I am back with the Powell Armite Flute. This one, uh, we've got a C-sharp trill. We have, it's 14 karat Armite. So up next we have the Powell Grenadilla Wood Flute with solid silver keys. There's no split E, there is no C-sharp mechanism. Um, no roller, no frills and whistles, um, the, the lip plate is even wood as well. Uh, it's 0 0.016 standard tubing. So here's some of the Zagorna Bison. 